Yo, what's up YouTube and welcome to Hidden Grills. So as you guys can see, I'm rocking my Kobe jersey and you already know what that means. That's right, another Kobe sneaker review. But before we go ahead and get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already so that you can tune into my future videos where I do sneaker reviews, I do vlogs about being a sneaker reseller and other videos about everything in the sneaker world. So you definitely want to hit that subscribe button and you know, help your boy out with that algorithm too and hit that like button and leave a comment down below about what you think of the Kobe 5 Pro Tros. So without further ado, let's get on with that sneaker review. So if you guys have been tuning into my channel, you'll know that I did a previous video of the Kobe 5 Pro Tros that I won from the sneakers app about like a couple of months back and it was the Kobe 5, I think they're called the 5 rings and it was that black and purple colorway. But this time I was able to get the Kobe 5 Pro Tro Bruce Lee's in the alternate colorway, which I think in my personal opinion, I like a lot more than the regular Bruce Lee colorway. And it's just because, you know, like, I like how the white and the black look better than with the yellow, but you know, that's just my personal opinion. I'm sure you, a lot of you guys like the original yellow colorway better, but this is what we have. I, was, I wasn't able to win the uh, yellow colorway, so you know what? It's okay. We'll just go ahead and review the alternate colorway. All right, so here's our first look of the sneakers. Oh my God. These are so nice. Take a look at all the details right there. Wow. So yeah, with these shoes, they're the Kobe 5 Pro Tros. And the first thing that you have to like remember when you're looking at Pro Tros is that the Pro Tro basically stands for Pro Retro. And that means, you know, like aesthetically, they look the same as the Retros. So they're basically retroing the Bruce Lee's. But the Pro stands for they're using um, new materials to make the shoe because, you know, the last time that the Bruce Lee were made, I think was 2010, around that time. So yeah, like a lot of things have changed in terms of the quality that they use to make the shoes. So they're able to remake it and make it look the same, but at the same time, they use different materials to improve performance. So looking at the side profile of the shoe, you can already see that this main black upper body right here is kind of like that, that reflective material, but then the white overlays around it aren't as reflective. So the original uh, inspiration for the shoe, as you guys can tell by the name, is Bruce Lee. And in the movie that he did, I think it was Game of Death, he wore like this yellow and black jumpsuit. It was a primarily yellow jumpsuit with a black stripe going down the sides. And that was the main inspiration for the shoe. So if you guys are able to cop the yellow colorway or if you see the yellow colorway, you'll see that this area right here is all yellow and then the black is still right here. And that's just basically... Um, yeah, like that's where it drew inspiration from. And the other times that, the other way that this shoe drew inspiration from Bruce Lee is that those um, scratch mark right there that you can see. So in another movie that Bruce Lee had, I think it was called, let's see, Game of Death was the black and yellow jumpsuit. And then it was Enter the Dragon. Enter the Dragon was where he got scratched on the chest and these marks right here basically like appeared on him. So then... Kobe drew inspiration from that as well. So looking at other details of the shoes, if you guys take a real close and careful look on the uh, black upper right there, you guys can kind of see like these lines going down and that's basically the fly wire material that they used to make the shoe. So the fly wire material basically started in, I believe around 2004 when Kobe decided to go and um, change his sneakers into more of like the low cut sneakers. So that's when they started using that fly wire material. Other details that you can see from the side profile, you guys can see that kind of braille looking design right there near the front of the shoe. And that's basically, I think they call it the Kobe code where he kind of made his own like letter and his own code that for people to decipher. So I tried to decipher what this meant and I really like, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't find the letters that would represent, I believe this one, like this one and the middle one. I just couldn't find the right, letters in the code to represent that so i'm not really sure what that means and then if you look at the back you can see that nike zoom is written there and that's just basically trying to showcase how 
um, the sole of the shoes is made out of zoom material which you know increases the amount of durability that it has and it also increases the reactiveness and kind of like the explosiveness that you have if you're wearing the shoe so now looking at the front of the shoe you can see that the toe box is completely black but it's made out of two different materials the toe box in the upper is basically made out of the same material that they used for the um, side profile of the shoe but then that bottom layer if you guys can see it it's kind of like a different more matted color and at the same time it has that splattered paint kind of pattern on it so i thought that was a really nice design and then additionally you can see that the outsole kind of curves up to the front of the shoe to add another extra layer of protection for your toes and there's two four written right in the front now looking at the back of the shoe at the far end when you're looking at the side profile of the shoe you can kind of see this nylon material and that's just basically to add more girth and just more width to the side of the shoe to provide more ankle support and then if we turn completely around we can see that the pull tab is yellow which i thought was a really nice touch and that yellow matches kobe's signature in the back heel so you guys can see right there kobe's signature and also in the back there's also that nylon material that goes all the way around so now looking at the soles of the shoe, so as you guys can see right there, like there's a lot of this random pattern that is just underneath the shoe where um, it spans all the way from the toe out to the middle of your foot and then again in the heel area. But then in the middle of your foot, you can see this um, kind of black material right here. So if you tap it, let's see if you guys can hear it. It's really hard sounding and that's because it's that carbon fiber plate that Nike has in its um, the shoes that has Nike Zoom on it. So with that carbon pipe fiber plate, it just adds another sense of stability and durability throughout the whole shoe. Then as you guys can see, Kobe's logo is on there. And there's also an additional kind of like black pattern right here on the thicker part of where your feet would be. But actually, the more I look at it, I think these aren't just random patterns. Yeah. So the more that I look at it, I kind of see like a like a heartbeat, like what you guys would see when you look at um, EKGs. So it would be like dropping down, going up, dropping down. It just looks like a heartbeat to me. I'm not sure if it's just like my medical background or me being a pre-med student, but that's literally what I see from it, the more that I look at it. Okay, and the last part to look at the shoes is the tongue. So as you guys can see, it's just a plain white tongue. It comes with white shoelaces. And then you have that Kobe logo right there in silver. And I really like that just based on like how it reflects the light and how even though it's really subtle because it's still a light color, it stands out on its own just because of that material that they used to make it. So I really like that. So if we're going to talk about the shoes aesthetically wise, you know, like they're definitely 10 out of 10 in my opinion. I just really like how the white, black and red match, you know, and at the same time, you have this little hint of yellow right there with Kobe's signature. Like just looking at the shoe overall, it looks really sleek and at the same time, just a really elegant shoe. But it's important to remember what the shoe is actually meant to be worn for and that's for basketball. So once quarantine is done and the gyms are open again, you know, I'm definitely rocking these shoes indoors just to test out the grip. But at the same time, like whenever I wear nicer shoes, I feel like I play better. I don't know if it's just me. If you guys feel the same way, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, like when you just wear nicer shoes, you feel like every shot's gonna go in. And you know, with these shoes, you know, I'm definitely gonna have that Mambo mentality when I'm playing on the court. So just from my personal experience and because I wanted to give you guys advice and to help you guys out when, you know, trying to buy basketball shoes, from my personal experience, like wearing Nikes, especially with Kobe's, I want to go a size up. So these are 11.5. You know, normally with my Jordans, I just wear size 11. But if I'm wearing it for basketball shoes, I wear 11.5 whenever it's Nike. And that's just because like whenever I would wear thicker socks, I just like it better when it's not super tight just because of the extra padding and then being exactly fitting for my sh for my feet. So whenever I would wear basketball shoes, I just add that extra 0.5 and especially with Kobe's. I've worn Kobe's previously. You know, I think I wore the 8s, the 10s, and the 11s. And every single time that I would get it in my exact size of size 11, it just didn't feel as comfortable. But then whenever I moved the size up, 11.5, I just felt like, my feet had more room to breathe and it's, it doesn't feel so constrained by the shoe itself. So if you guys are looking to buy some Nikes for basketball, I would definitely recommend going 0.5 up. All right, and that concludes our video and our review of the Kobe 5 Pro Tros in the Bruce Lee alternate colorway. 
So thank you guys so much for tuning in. And before you guys, you know, log out of this video, make sure you guys follow all of my Instagram accounts as well. I have Hidden Grails on Instagram where I basically post, you know, like sneaker aesthetic pictures. And I also have HG Kicks. And that's my new account where I'm basically trying to start a reselling side hustle on Instagram rather than using other apps like Depop and OfferUp, which I've been using in the past. And just from that page, you know, you guys can see all of the sneakers that I have that I'm trying to sell right now. So if you guys are definitely interested in buying some sneakers, make sure you go check that out too. And again, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you guys can tune into future videos where we could talk about anything in the sneaker world. So if you guys have any requests on any topics that you want me to cover, let me know in the comments down below. So thank you guys for tuning in and I'll catch you guys on the next one.